Greetings YouTubians and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World where today I'm going to be bringing you guys a full review of one phenomenal small little EDC knife that can really go both ways. It can be a full true single EDC or it would be an excellent fifth pocket knife. I could honestly go either way with it and this one is brought to you guys by Caviso. Be sure to look them up for all of your knife and EDC needs and your outdoor gear needs. They have an excellent selection of all that so hop on over to the website check that out and uh, let's get right into it and take a look just which knife I'm talking about and uh it's this guy right here this is the QSP mini penguin now it's no secret I really really love the regular penguin and just recently in my knife of the year awards I gave the penguin plus or the penguin XL the biggest version of the penguin um a spot in my knife of the year awards in its price category because it was phenomenal so does all that translate into the small package how good is that um, well, spoiler alert, it's pretty damn good. But before we get into all my thoughts on this guy, let's take a look at some overall specs of just what we have here. We have an overall length of 5.5 inches with a blade length coming in at 2.5 inches. Blade steel on these models are CPM S35VN. Really hard to go wrong with that stuff. It's pretty darn good. And of course, that somewhat iconic at this point maybe not iconic but classic very well known sheep's foot penguin blade that i think so many people love i am definitely one of them and uh we have blade finish options of satin or stone washed and then the handle length on this guy is coming in at 3.25 inches and handle material we got some options here and you know what i got more than just this one mini penguin here to show you guys uh, I've got three, and we'll go off the handle options and configurations, as well as the prices here. This one right here is just the regular silver tie version. This is coming in at $109. And then we also have the, uh, let's see, let's pull this one here, the Maku tie and silver tie coming in at $219. And then we have the marbled carbon fiber coming in at $109. So $109 for these two, $219 for this one. And then there's one other option that is going to be Makutai Showside with purple titanium, which you see right here. Oh, wait, what is this? We have, we got the big boy here too. We'll, we'll talk about this guy here in just a second, but those are all your options. All tie, Makutai Showside with tie and Makutai clip. Marble carbon fiber or raindrop carbon fiber, however you want to call that, um, with the titanium clip side. And uh, then, of course, the Makutai in purple. Basically, $219 or $109 for whichever version you prefer. Now, now we got a party. Now we got three mini penguins. Uh, but we're going to pull these two aside just for now. We'll bring them back to show you guys a little more detail of these. Um, and we will go over, let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got the weight. Um, the weight on these guys are going to be coming at 2.6 ounces. Unless you get this raindrop carbon fiber version, this is coming in a little lighter at, uh, just over two ounces at 2.09 ounces. So, uh, and I will say you definitely notice a little difference in the weight on this one. I, I really do like that lighter version. It's, it's pretty darn good. Um, but now let's do some size comparisons. Because this knife, oh, there's there's a few really good knives that this knife reminds me of. Um, these first knives you're going to see are not exactly it, or at least this first one here. We'll pull out this one right here. This is the CGRB Mylea, which is actually a really good length comparison. But these two are pretty different knives in terms of blade shape as well as ergos. Very different ergos. Uh, but I know a lot of people know the Mylea, so I thought that was worth bringing out. But these two knives right here, these are the two that really remind me of the Penguin. We have the CRKT Pilar, which is actually kind of different from an ergo standpoint too. But this one especially, the Protec Runt. I, I get a lot of similar vibes between the Runt and the Mini Penguin. Now, again, these are not very uh, similar knives either, but the feel in hand and the overall blade function, I mean, they're, they're actually really similar blades. The biggest difference is you get a considerable more amount of sharpened blade length on the Mini Penguin. Like I said, 2.25 inches compared to your 1.9. 
that you're getting on the run. So that uh, is a considerable difference when you're talking that little of a cutting edge on, on either one of these knives. But the Ergos, very similar Ergos. They're kind of boxy, um, and they're actually very similar in the handle in terms of thickness. Uh, the runt is slightly thicker, but overall feel and hand is pretty darn similar, um, and they definitely remind me of each other. Which one do I like more? I can't really compare that because one's an automatic, one's a manual. Pretty different, but they're both really good, and they kind of remind me of each other. Um, so yeah, so some really good size comparisons there. And this knife in general, um, you know, I wasn't sure about the mini version because I loved the XL version and I really liked the regular version. But there's something about a small version of an already great knife that when it's executed the right way, not, not just any, you, you can't take any big knife, make it a small knife and all of a sudden it's good. Um, it's, it's gotta be the right design. And one of the things that really stands out for me with this model in particular is the handle shape. A handle shape like this that is a little more on just the rectangular, neutral, kind of boxy side, it works really well for a smaller knife. When you get into a lot of curvatures and choils and finger curves for a small knife, it gets really precise. And that that can really, it can get real good results from some pers some people, but it can get really bad, like hateful results from other people because they don't fit good in their fingers. This is the best way to go for a small knife. Neutral or handle ergos and uh, just enough to where you have a very solid three finger grip. And of course that powerful sheep's foot blade that, I mean, you can't go wrong with a blade like this. This is the great length for a knife tour. You can just kind of hold it like this and get your index finger up right towards where the, the blade starts to build it down towards the tip and just get in some excellent utility cuts, draw cuts, opening boxes, breaking down boxes, Getting into any type of packaging is a breeze with this knife. It carries really, really well in the pocket because it's not too thick. Um, it really is a complete knife from top to bottom, especially for a small knife. I can pull out a lot of these other small knives, and there's things that I may not like about it. Uh, the Polara outside of the HCR 13, I love this knife, but I wish it had a better clip. Um, and it's just, yeah, and it's obviously running on washers too, uh, plastic washers, which isn't ideal. Um, and the Mylea is actually, I love the Mylea still, uh, but you don't quite have, you know, it, it, for a small knife, it has decent ergos, but again, you have a lot of curves, a lot of stuff moving around on it to where I obviously still really like the knife, but the ergos could be a little better. It's a great blade, but it's not, it's not as complete as something like the Mini Penguin to where I think it's gonna be good for just about anybody. I think the only people that wouldn't really enjoy this knife is someone with just really big, thick, meaty hands. Um, it might be a little hard to, uh, to operate this knife. Um, but the blade's on point, slicey edge, high flat grind, um, handle feels great, jimping's good, and the action. Uh, this guy is on bearings. Uh, pretty smooth. This is actually a pretty new one, so I'm still breaking it in a little. And of course, I don't have any KPL in there, so there's a lot of room for improvement. But the deployment on this blade is whether you're using your thumb, it's really good, and whether you're using your middle finger, it's just as good. Um, action is phenomenal on this guy. And what I really like, I think what I like most about this is when I'm deploying the blade, the size of this handle is just right, at least for me, at least for, for, for this hand right here. Um, if I wanted to play it with the thumb stud, my middle finger just tucks perfect into that uh, milled out area on the lock bar as well as the clip. It gives me a great place to, to brace the knife. I mean, I this knife is super, super secure. Rested against my index finger, pop, blade flies out. Really, really good there. And then the middle finger flick is so easy on this guy. Brace the butt of the knife right up against kind of like just below where your ring finger goes into your palm. And then, uh, but yeah, just pinch it with your index and thumb and just this grip right here. You don't even need your fingernail, just the meat of that middle finger, bam, pops it right out. So good. Very, very fidgety little knife. Um, excellent little slicer and cutter. Maybe it's not a true slicer, but it's slicey enough to where, you know, it's <laughs> it's gonna take care of anything you guys need to cut open. Um, but it always has a good edge. QSP, for the most part, does a pretty good job with our edges. I've had one or two over the past, probably three years now, uh, that could have used a little stropping out of the box. But for the most part, and especially with these Penguins, um, I just have really good history with the Penguin. I really enjoy the model um, from the budget versions to these more premium versions. Um, you get that extra little uh, pop here in the Penguin. And this is a Caviso exclusive thing here. You don't see that anywhere else. 
Um, this is a pivot, kind of extra little pivot design that I actually like because it's not so much with the branding of the brand, like it's not QSP, it's the penguin. So it kind of helps represent the model a little more. And it's not, doesn't have any font, it's more of just kind of a sleek little attractive design, which I like. It, it adds a nice little um, extra visual element to the knife without adding too much pop or color or annoyance or billboarding. It's a really nice subtle little uh, touch that I enjoy a lot. And I also really like that QSP got their logo up on the flat of the blade, not uh, down into the grind, which is really good. Now I will say on the uh, stonewashed version, I don't know how, oh, that's the Makatai, um, on the stonewashed version, somehow that logo did carry a little onto the grind. I don't love that. I'm not too happy about it, but it doesn't look nearly as bad since it happened on the stonewashed version as to where all the satin versions, it's nice and clean and where it should be. So, um, yeah, I, some people really like to know that because it's it's like a real big OCD trigger for them. Uh, and it is for me too, but I will say the, the difference in weight between the titanium and Makutai versions compared to the carbon fiber version uh, is significant. It, it, it is significant. You do notice it. Um, I really love this all titanium version. I think that looks great. Um, I love this carbon fiber. It's nice and smooth, blemish free. The stone wash is fantastic and everything else about this is basically the same as that. So that's really good. Then we get to the Makutai version and my whole thing with Makutai, um, I've just, it, it's, it's almost too much color for me. Now I know a lot of people really like it. And to be honest, let me wipe this off here. Um, I, I understand why people like it so much because it really is just visually attractive from the color popping and the randomness and uniqueness of it. I, I get why people really like it. And I think it's a great model, especially the smaller version to have kind of that small pop of color. Um, and I like the Makatai clip even more than the Makatai show side because it's a little, little more subtle, not quite as, uh, is as big of a pop as a show side scale, but I like how you have just the scale on this side being Makutai and the show side on here. Really nice flare on both sides with the purple accents on the pivot and the thumb studs, as well as the screw and the hardware in general. It's it's really nice. I like this a whole lot. Um, the, the only thing that I really have against Makutai is it smudges up really easily. So I, obviously it's super smooth. It's, it's like a high gloss, high, high, uh, reflective finish. So, um, but people who buy Makutai stuff, they know that already. So I'm not, you know, I'm not uh, breaking any news to anybody. Uh, and lastly, the only one I haven't handled here, the, mar the marble carbon fiber, raindrop carbon fiber version. Um, I actually have the regular size version of this that I still have got it from Caviso. Gosh, I don't even remember now. Well over a year ago. Um, probably, yeah, yeah, about a year ago, actually. Though. Um, really enjoyed the knife. Great knife. Um, these are every bit as good as that, just in a small version. So um, I think these are excellent options. And in terms of a small knife, it just makes a lot of sense with that blade shape. Now, of course, these were all actually just stocked in at Caviso. So these are all in stock, all available. And we also had a restock of the full size Penguin Pluses. Not even full size, these are the big boys. Uh, where did I put that other one? Here we go, I got too many knives on my table. They're like blending in with each other. These boys, if I had to pick one between the small and the large, I would go with the Penguin Plus. I, you guys just know this though. I, you know, I always lean towards a bigger knife. It, it's got to be something really crazy special for me to pick. If there's a, a, a regular version or a mini version and a large version for me to pick uh, the small version, it has to be super, super special. And while I do really love these mini penguins, I, I man, I, I, I can't go away from these uh, full size penguin pluses. The action on these things are crazy good. I mean, crazy good. And one big difference on these as compared to the original Penguin Plus I had, which is still phenomenal, I do still have it, still smooth, is it has a clip, a deep carry, a bent over deep carry wire clip as to where these ones come with milled clips here. That I, You guys know I'm always a fan of milled clip. I'll take a milled clip over a wire clip any day of the week. Um, a couple quick, I'm going to link my full review of these Penguin Pluses down if you guys want to see the full review. If you're trying to decide, uh, maybe you want a big Penguin, uh, I'll link that review down there. Um, but for pricing on these, now I don't know, I don't think this version is available anymore. It might be, you'll have to check the site. Everything will be linked below. Um, but the two versions that are definitely available are these two right here. 
And uh, what we have here is the Maku tie and purple tie. And again, big knife coming in at $299. And then we also have the silver tie with the Makutai clip and purple accents. This is actually coming in at $199. So for the Makutai clip, a little nice color pop, uh, this is a pretty decent value for $199. And I really mean, like, you guys, the action on these things is fantastic. Uh, blade rockets out, pretty drop shutty, and it's just a substantial knife. When you get this knife in hand, it just feels like a tank of a knife. Um, even though it is slim, it's not a real thick knife. It carries great. It's a hand filler for a lot of different size hands. It's got those good neutral ergos. Um, I really, really love these full-size Penguin Pluses. There's a reason why they made my top three in Knife of the Year uh, for 2022 in that price category because it's just damn good. Um, and let's see, all of the full-size Penguins, just uh, another nice little thing to throw in there, all of the full-size Penguin Pluses um, will be individually serialized. So a little bit of extra uh, limited runs there. Um, I believe I said in the full review when I originally gave it that there was going to be limited runs of this. So this is the second limited run and uh, has its own little color pop to it. Uh, quick specs on this, 7.875 inches of overall length, 3.37 inch blade length, 4.5 inch handle length, 4.45 ounces, and uh, we're also looking at S35 VN steel on all these guys. And as you can see, the serial numbering is right down there. Here we got 46 as well as 90. So there you go, guys. Um, these are still awesome. The Penguin model um, is not going anywhere, and I think you're going to see a lot more variants and plays on it in the next coming years. Uh, for a lot of reasons. It's really good, it sells really well, and it's just an excellent, excellent EDC blade shape that a lot of people enjoy, a lot of people still use, and a lot of people are still buying them. And if you haven't bought one, uh, now would be a great time to do it because these ones here um, are probably, especially these larges, man, these larges, ones, they are phenomenal. The action is so good. Whether you're using the thumb stud or the flipper, it is just really, really darn good. Excellent options here coming at you from Caviso. Be sure to hop on down, click that link, and check them out. And uh, let me know what you guys think of these. I'm trying to rearrange them to get them all on screen, and it's uh, not that easy. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's going to work. Guys, let me know what you think of these. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Wow, we're at 17 minutes. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and until the next one, I'm out.